Welcome back. Right before break, we were talking to Antonio about how his Hollywood dream came tumbling down. And we want to pick back up right where we left off and answer that question. So, Antonio, what happened? I think politics, as you know, as everybody knows, I mean, the news is making billions of dollars, is promoting whether it's real news or fake news or whatever you want to call it, is this multi-billion dollar companies that make money on spewing news, whether it's good or bad, and mostly it's bad. Um, so we live in a society where we're always surrounded by politics and political and negative and all this stuff. And, and I was in it for a while and, uh, because I love my country and I, and I saw uh, an opportunity for me to speak and I took advantage of that because I'm proud of being an American. But what I don't like, and I think it's just sad to see, is that people cannot discuss things and talk about it. It's just p politics, and it's just everybody's so passionate and angry about certain things, and they, and, and, and they always want to point the finger and blame and stuff. And in and, and Hollywood especially, there's a lot of bitter people. They really hate this president. They hate him. They hate his family. They hate his children. They hate everything. And they're not shy about telling you. And, and I... And for me, I know the guy, I know his family. I know, you know, for me, it's always been like, why do you have to treat people like that? And, and I mean, maybe you disagree with his political views or whatever, but we have to be kind. We have to be able to express each other and not so much violently and just so without so much pain. And when I, and I, I felt that I got, I got hit right in the face with all this anger. As soon as I expressed my affiliation with this, with this man and my views politically, that it was like, I remembered when I was a little boy going through uh, the Czech Republic with my mom and going to Prague and having all these soldiers and, and people pointing guns at me and go, oh, let me look through your car. It was like that. I felt like bullied by Hollywood going, you know what? You can't talk that way. You can't support this president. You're racist or, or whatever it may be. And it was tough. But... And you feel like you missed out on roles because of it oh, or yeah. people stopped yeah. calling you. They stopped calling me and it was like, I couldn't even get them on the phone. Um, there was manager, agency, commercial agency. Um, they wouldn't even pick up the phone. They wouldn't. I called them over and over again. I want to pick up the phone. Um, I called specific people and I asked them what finally got them on the phone. Some of them. Um, much later, actually, it was months later. I said, what's going on? Can you help me? There's anything I can do? Is there any work that I can do? And it's like, no. You know, I had distribution companies that said to me, we're not going to distribute anything you're in, period. And I was like, what What I do? You know, what am I, why, why am I so bad for you? Why, why do I stand? Because my, really, you're saying that you're not going to distribute a film or anything that I'm in because I have different views than you. And that was it. And um and that's one of the, the reasons why, I mean, one of the many reasons, sorry, one of the many reasons why I wrote this book is because I want to say, people need to know this. People need to be, uh, have, have the freedom. We live in the greatest country, you know, where we can talk our differences and, um, and talk about our struggles and, and work together. And, uh, and I, I, and at the end of the book, I say it, I say it uh, kindly. I say, you know, and lovingly, I said, the best is yet to come. You know, it's like, the, if you keep moving forward, um, and you feel like you're alone and everybody's attacking you or whatever, keep moving forward, be positive, and yeah. uh, things are going to be all right. And now you're in Florida, yep. and what are, you, what are you up to down there? <laughs> well, um, nobody was there to help me out, and um, I, I, I lost everything. I, I, was, I sold my house, things that I could sell. You know, I had to really, I had to take, my, my priority is my children, uh, my three beautiful kids, um, and uh, and my fiance and my family, my mother and my sister and, 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 and um, my father and my, you know, my whole family is very important to me. So I got to do what I got to do. I got to find a job. I got to keep paying the bills. I got to take care of my children. So the only person that came to my rescue um, was CNC Concrete Pumping. It's one of the biggest concrete pumping company in the, uh, in the world of construction in Florida and in Dallas, and the guy that owns it, Pepe, a good friend of mine, a family who stood up for me, said, yeah, I'll give you a job. I'll give you a job to take care of Tampa, and um, you can start off from scratch. I'll have the guys teach you what to do, and I have to go in this new world 
work long hours in construction and sales and marketing and uh and the pumping itself building you know we in the last year i was able to be part of building constructions and huge hospitals college facilities restaurants um, gas stations i build all kinds of stuff in florida so far and i've learned a lot why did i do that survival to survive and to make sure that my kids are well taken care of and so not only i'm in construction i'm also starting a a, a movie studio and i have a movie in production or in pre-production right now called trailblazers that i'll that i'm planning on directing and starring with a bunch of really good friends of mine and and actors and actresses that I've been wanting to work with. And um, I don't know, I'm just more driven now because I've been through hell and back and I made it and I survived it. And I think I'm more hungry and, 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 and devoted. I know what I want, I know what I need. Um, it's a good time for me. So that's why the book is important. Yeah. Well, Antonio, thank you so much for sharing your story. And I think we can all okay. use a lesson in resiliency right now. And yeah. um, thank you so much, everyone. The book, Sabato, The Untold Story.